there isn't any acknowledgement that actually there's an awful lot of oddity in our world and we're all a bit odd. <laughs> But I do feel that whereas with novels, I will often start with a blank canvas. So I have my character, but I don't know where my character's going to take me and I don't know how the book's going to end. It was all about being British. I've never been to Burma. I didn't know what it was like to sleep overnight with all your belongings clutched around you. In my novel, I'm interested in life in terms of the, the meeting of Western and Eastern culture against this completely opposite philosophy. And how much of that family history is drawn from your own? Martina in the first chapter is definitely an echo really of how I felt and that's how it gradually unfolded for me. This is Martina. She lives next door. She emphasises the she lives next door, wanting everyone to understand the reason why it was necessary to invite this real baby. You're Jewish anyway, aren't you? Jewish? Echoes Strawberry Blonde. Um, I've never even been in a synagogue. It's very demanding when you're rewriting to get it just there and you're trying to get exactly on the line between cliché on one side and obscurity on the other side. I was there on my own, looking quite different, relieved to be myself. The boys had been cruel, but I'd been brave, and now they'd left me. Though I knew what they'd done, I needed to look down to be sure. There was this Burmese pianist playing the piano as a real person. And uh, of course I got to know him, and now he's ended up as a fictitious character. <laughs> so it's a sort of come full circle. Do you think you were always going to put lots of music in there because your love of it? Somewhere in the book there's something about feeling that English culture, especially musical culture at the time, which was not nearly as open as it is now, was like trying to get a grip on a shiny globe and there was no way into it whatsoever. It was just there and it was beautiful and you wanted to be part of it, but nobody would actually quite let you in. He's just had his book published and it's set in India. It's a thriller in the present day. It, it is indeed. And he doesn't realise until he gets there that this was all a ploy on her part to get him to go. And she's the kind of opposite link, the one who's interested in the spiritual side of India more than Lakshaya, who's interested in, in managing the chaos. It's not worth 2,000. Do you know that, Chanda? This one, how much is this one? She picked up a wooden thing decorated with elephants. It's not worth that at all, Frank Scott. Chanda seemed embarrassed again. It's worth that for my mother. Of course, we don't really use the word ravel. We only use no, the word exactly, unravel, don't exactly. we? But it does come from a line in a Philip Larkin poem. Oh. All's ravelled under the sun by the winds blowing. It also suggests something has been unravelled first yes. and maybe it's been ravelled up again. I felt that it broke the rules of the short story as I understood them at that point because it did absolutely everything mm. that a novel can do. According to the map, this was Oxford Circus, astonished at how conspicuous he looked amongst these tall, pale Europeans, seeing himself through their eyes, a small alien figure, a round, dark face with hamster cheeks, bold eyes, curly black hair. I saw, I heard, his attempts at normality slip away into a void. And that was where he'd find me, in mine. I looked at my husband and hoped I could carry on loving him. Grief is like surgery. Please, John, I can't stay here. <laughs>